Hey everyone, Chris Reese here. I want to talk today about how to get you out of the low self-esteem trap. If I could wave a magic wand and cure everyone, I would cure them of feelings of low self-esteem. Low self-esteem is a contributing factor, if not the root problem, in most psychological disorders as well as general feelings of dissatisfaction. It wrecks relationships, it hinders growth, and it can be the number one stumbling block on the path to success. There are many reasons why people perceive themselves as inferior to those around them, but the core issues involved are those of self-worth and significance. Many times low self-esteem is the result of being put down by others or the experience of not measuring up in some way to those around them. Feelings of low self-esteem most commonly exhibit themselves in one of two ways. The first is where someone becomes self-conscious and even gives the appearance of being socially awkward and inhibited. The other way is Conversely, some people will try to compensate for these feelings by acting just the opposite of how they feel. They may come across as demanding and arrogant and strive to do great things because they're looking to impress others. But in almost all cases, these tactics are simply a misguided attempt to combat the feelings of low self-worth. And if you're trying to keep any of these tactics and they don't work, it will likely lead to depression. Look, we all feel down from time to time. That's not what I'm talking about here. What I'm referring to is a consistent, persistent state of a low self-worth. Feelings that remain for extended periods of time or come and go with frequency. If you are suffering from low self-esteem, there are a few things you can do to help turn this around. First thing, understand that the root of the problem is a perception based upon a comparison. It's not an absolute fact that you are inferior to others. And number two, recognize that attempts to gain the approval of others or to protect yourself from rejection are an effort to manage the feelings of low self-worth and they are likely counterproductive. For example, if you are withdrawing or exhibiting excessive neediness, it actually pushes people away. The third, realize how you interpret your environment needs to be changed. You're not always correct in your interpretation. Number four, admit that low self-esteem is the result of a constant focus on yourself. So instead, turn your focus onto the needs of others. Number five, understand that envy and self-evaluation may always be a temptation, but just like any other temptation, you can resist. And number six, put your relationship with God first and believe what He says about you. And that's what will begin to turn people's opinion around about you. See, low self-worth is a trap in which many find themselves and very few people will openly talk about it and talk about feeling inferior since it's usually met with either rejection or abuse. If you find that you are having trouble taking any of these steps, it may be beneficial for you to work with a professional counselor. A professional will help you to gain a new perspective as it is likely that your thought process is also faulty. And they're also going to support you while you go through this process of changing your thoughts and your words and your actions towards yourself and others. And until next time, may you be blessed beyond your wildest imagination.